Hello to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers. We are here today for one reason and one reason only. To watch the train wreck, formerly known as learning to be fearless. We want to know, Alex, how did you go from this to this? Oh! Ew! Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Good morning, Suburbanites. I had to re-record this. Ugh. Okay, so it pretty much recorded me, but not the video. Girl, okay. So we have our friend here in 2011 talking about her lap band surgery. Yes, she is an adult right here, but she's talking about the lap band surgery that good old Nancy let her get when she was 16. Now listen, everybody go ahead and parent how you want to parent. Do you, boo, do you, okay? Now the size that she was when she went and got that surgery, I'm sure she would love to be that size right now. But anyways, here we are, me, trying to do this one more time because girl listen sick of this the good thing about her earlier stuff is that it's not that long so we only have five minutes and 58 seconds let's go hi everybody i'm doing a video about how i lost um about 60 pounds over the past couple of years uh it's been a little bit overdue I, uh, somebody requested to do this video um like a month or two ago, and I'm sorry I'm taking so long to do it, but I'm finally doing it now. I have a little time and uh, to explain my situation. You know, some things never change. She is always talking about what somebody requested her to do. Grand nobody, Alex, Alex, nobody requested that. They probably didn't even know that your lying ass had the surgery done to even begin with. But go ahead, girl, go off. Uh, so. It's been about three years now, it's 2013, probably almost four, uh, that it took me a long time to lose this. I lost all of it probably like a year ago, so it took about two, three years. Um, I'm titling this video uh, My Lap Band Journey because I actually did have the lap band surgery done back in January 2000. It's not a journey. Or 10. Oh my God. You quit. It's, been, it's been a really long time. Hell. So I got the surgery done and I got it done when I was 16, which is kind of young, but I noticed that my weight was really spiraling out of control and I needed to do something about it. Well, you noticed that now. And my biggest problem was food. I've been going to the gym for 10 years later and your biggest problem still is food, ma'am. Alex, Alex, hello, knock, knock, anybody at all? You keep having surgeries, but you keep avoiding what you need to do, which is carry your ass down into somebody's therapy session and lay on that couch so that they can talk to you, Cupcake. You have problems. And I'll tell you what it is. It's binge eating. I recognize it. Why? Because I struggle with that. Girl, go ahead. Go off. For forever, mind the gym. I love to sweat. I love to get it all out there. Stop lying. But food was always a problem. I didn't have any portion control. And the lapian surgery was something that would help me um, get back on track. Great. She admitted that food has always been a problem. That is the first and the last time that y'all going to hear Miss Ma'am admit that. So go ahead and soak that in as much as you can. Milk that cow. Cause that's it, baby. That's it. So what the lap band surgery is basically, they take um, this little tube that's circular um, with a little pouch that's filled with um, some sort of liquid, probably silicone or something. And they place it at the top part of your stomach and kind of like suck it on. So it's like a little new stomach, like a little pouch. Interesting. You get full really fast. So you learn kind of how to use portion control. And you didn't learn. what I didn't know at the time when I got it done was that you're going to need fills to fill it up because that liquid's going to kind of come out of it, you know, it kind of flattens so like you can eat. Now, what I will not have you do is sit your ass up here and lie on these good doctors that went to school a very long time. They told your big ass and your crazy ass mammy that you were going to have to get this thing refilled because they know that it takes maintenance. Now, what you're not going to do is sit up here and lie on these good doctors. See, everything is always everyone else's problem and fault. 
but Alexandra Rodriguez can never be bothered to own up to her bullshit. And see, that's why all these reaction channels keep popping up on your ass. Normal again. So you need to get it filled kind of frequently and I wasn't aware of that. So um, I don't really have any fill centers near me that would take me. So I had kind of a lot of trouble with the lap bands. Uh, although it did help me um, lose some weight, I probably lost like 30 pounds from it, um, from the portion control. But in all honesty, I've noticed a lot of people have this problem too. You will throw up a lot of your food. The food will yeah, because you overeat it. Fit through. You're gonna throw it up, and it's really, really, really painful when that happens. <sighs> I actually, I have a friend who I stay in touch with this whole time. We got it done together, and she lives in Arizona. As ever, she had the same problems as me. I finally was able to get my food too. this past summer. That's when I had my surgery. If you guys were watching back then, um, it was just oh my god, it was such a relief to get it removed. Because after a while, it's just. Oh, just constant pain and hard times with eating. By when you wake up in the morning, it would be like tight again. It was weird, but then by nighttime, it would loosen. And you could pretty much eat almost anything, which is totally that's terrible. your problem. Nice you are eating anything when you just said earlier that it taught you portion control. So you should have never gotten to the point where you figured out like, hey, at nighttime I can eat more. What the fuck? Okay, wh whatever. Keep talking good hearty breakfast and then by the end of the night you're not really supposed to eat as much so it was kind of <laughs> defeating the purpose for a while um no 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 now what you're not gonna alex alex hey girl what you're not gonna do is sit up here and lie to the good suburbanite community's face okay it was not that band's fault you're not gonna Blame an inanimate object, baby. You, you were the problem then, and here we are 10 years later, and you still are the problem now. Cut it out. But whatever. Keep talking. So, in all honesty, coming from someone who had the lap band and finally got it removed, um, you know what? If you have fill center nearby and you can handle the self-control not to stretch out your band by overeating and stuff like that, I, I don't not recommend the band, but it's a commitment. <laughs> Of course you don't recommend the band because the band forces your ass to do the right thing. See, that's why you carried your big ass on down there and got that gas bypass because you knew that eventually you'd be able to stretch that stomach right back out because the stomach is a what? A muscle. Girl, miss me with this bullshit right here. This right here, y'all, suburbanite community, y'all see this? And this is why people... Don't like, look how she's smiling. She's smiling and telling you a truth, but a whole lie at the same goddamn time. And see, that is why channels keep popping up right here. But whatever, keep talking, keep talking, Alex. And I almost think to myself, if you can handle the portion control to keep the band working properly, then why would you need the band? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. No, you don't so, make sense. I don't know. <laughs> the band was definitely an interesting experience, but um, since it stopped working a couple of years ago, I kind of- No, it never stopped own. working. Uh, it never stopped working. You stopped working. You, 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 you. You stopped working. The band didn't stop working. The band did what it was supposed to do. And it would have continued to do what you're supposed to do if you and Nancy's crazy ass would have kept going to the field station and doing what you're supposed to do, okay? Quit playing with us. Quit playing in our face. Quit lying. Quit lying in our face like that. Use a lie. Use a lie, if it. Use got to go, if it. Use a lie. But whatever, keep talking. And it just um, cutting down portions, eating half of what I used to, incorporating a lot more. Like I always used to have white bread. White bread, white bread, white bread. Bread, white bread. <laughs> but now I'm always whole wheat. Whole wheat for everything. It doesn't matter. It's still bread. I used to hate vegetables, but I'm finally learning to just Except them. I don't no, know. You didn't uh, accept them. Hello. Here I am from the future. Uh Alex to let you know that you never accepted vegetables, ma'am. Not one vegetable. Not one. You couldn't find not one that you like. Oh, what were they feeding you as a kid? Like, not one? Like, even when you made a, a sub or if you ate a, a, a hamburger or something, not one, like. Not one pickle or a tomato or some lettuce, like not one vegetable. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, man. Whatever, keep talking. And I just came on Chobani that's got a ton of protein in it and it's got no fat and it's fantastic. So all I can really say if you lose weight, what it comes down to is portion. I've read in several places that um, 
diet is like 70% of oh. weight loss, I believe. Don't get mad at me if that's not the right percentage. Alex, Alex, hello. You do not read those books, Alex. In fact, older you, like you, like that's happening right now, takes books and put lamps on top of them because you don't read them. They're just decor. Yeah. Percentage, but it's like a really high percentage. And so if you can just eat healthier, cut down your portions or anything like that and go to the gym, like just four times a week, you know, I always try to go to the gym and get in at least a half an hour of cardio and some weights just cause like, I want to keep it toned when I do lose more weight the plateau for a while. Now that I've lost like 60 pounds, I would love to. Of course you plateau because your ass keep That's my main goal. I've lost a hundred pounds. I, I got to work out for you, Alex. How about you do some goddamn pushaways? Push away from the fucking table. That'd be awesome. And now that the lap band is done, um, I'm just working on it by myself. So if you have any more questions about the lap band, feel free to contact me because it's definitely a big decision no, to do it. And it's important to get your fact. Because yeah, there's yeah, a lot that I didn't know about going into it. And it was okay, I'm, done. I'm done. Guys, this woman in... Yes, she looks young here, but this right here is a grown woman. This is not um, a kid, right? It's a grown ass woman. And she didn't learn then or try to learn and she hasn't learned now. So whatever. This is the last video that I'm gonna do um, for her 2011 um i guess little series and then we'll go on to uh 2010. we're gonna come closer and closer um to where we are now i'm just doing these so that people who may not have ever heard of this person will know her from watching just you know a couple of her videos so there's that all right suburban nights beach bums and city slickers Y'all have a great day.